Hello everyone! Welcome back to KS Online. We are now on lesson number 2. And we stay with unit 6 for the entire month. We will talk all about take action. Are you ready? Lesson number 2. I have here 4 sentences. Out of these 4 sentences, we will learn the correct usage of will and might when to use will and when to use might we will learn that today we will learn from this example okay but before that before we go to our rules let's read first our four sentences ready i might volunteer if i've got time Two, this might not work. I'm not sure. Three, she has a grid. She will support us. And lastly, your plan won't work. It's impossible. Okay, based on our examples, what have you observed? What have you find out? Okay, now, number one, we use might. Number two, we use might not. There are contrary, okay? Might, might not. Of course, we use might for affirmative sentence. And we use might not for a negative sentence. What about for number three and four? She will. We use the word will. She will. And for the negative, want. Want. The negative of will not is want. So we got not two pairs. Might, might not. Will and want now among the four sentences which of this speaks about possibility speaks about possibility meaning it's the condition of being possible possibility something might happen eventually there's a condition of being possible Possibility. So, which of these sentences speaks about possibility? You get two answers. Okay. Maybe you're, you're still confused. Two speaks for possibility sir what about the remaining two it speaks about certainty meaning you are sure of you are convinced that this is real really true you are 100 percent sure Okay, that's certainty. You are assured of and you are totally convinced. Certainty. Whereas possibility is the condition of being possible. Something might happen eventually. Not that 100% sure. Okay, maybe ex I explained already. Okay, which sentences, what number that speaks about possibility? Possibility. A condition of being possible. Something might happen eventually. What's your answer? Numbers 1, 
and 2. Speaks about possibility. What about certainty? Numbers 3 and 4. Got it? Therefore, when we talk about possibility, we use might for affirmative and we use might not for negative. Again, when we speak about possibility, we use might for affirmative and we use might not for negative. Don't forget that. And for certainty, we use will for affirmative and we use want for negative. Again, I, will, I want to make myself clear. If we are talking about certainty that we are 100% convinced of, you are assured of, you will use will for affirmative and you will use want for negative. Okay? I hope I make myself clear. Okay? We have got four examples. We got two sets of rules. Possibility, we use might, might not. Certainty, we use will and want. All right, copy this on your notebook. Write the day-to-day -day. unit six, take action. And you write down our lesson number two. And be ready for your next video that will be our exercise number two. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. Be safe and God bless everyone. Bye.